So guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. Awesome day to go protect families. And guys, an even more awesome day to go out and build your business. So guys, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about how to <clears throat> convert a few more of those um a few more of those co recruiting conversations because yesterday it looked like we had 11 in our group and my question is how many of those 11 watched a career spotlight last night okay um that's the big thing is talking to people is step one getting that habit going right step two is making it effective just kind of like going out and giving six demos guys is is part one right Part two is raising your closing percentage from 16%, which is one out of six, up to 20%, which is one out of five, okay? Because one out of five, well, then all of a sudden you do 30 demos, that'll give you six clients per week instead of five, okay? To raising your closing percentage to 33%, okay? One out of every three. Now 30 demonstrations will get you 10 clients per week instead of five. So the first step is the activity. So guys, step one, if you're not doing the activity and not talking to people in the field, that's step one, is we gotta put a big fat Sharpie R on our hands. And throughout the day, we're gonna see that R, it's gonna remind us to recruit. Because guys, recruiting is the way to go in this business. I will share something with you real quick because I want you to understand the why before we get too deep into the what. But um, the first thing I wanna share with you, here, let me share my screen. I want you to understand the why and guys first thing and first and foremost is guys if you go out and you do well and have a great day and sell 10 policies protect 10 different families right that's a good week probably an eagle right congratulations guys if you have you and they have three team members and you each go out and protect five families who did you in which scenario did you help more people you protecting 10 or you and your team protecting five a piece of 20? Where do you help more people? I need team. With the team. Yeah, yeah, with the team, you absolutely do. Whether you sell 20 or not, that's great, but you and three other people, guys, can protect significantly more people. And guys, in addition to that, secondary, it's significantly more income for you <clears throat> there's a reason why the two ways to earn the the the, the trip um the to puerto rico uh, one of them is sales the other one is recruiting right there's no way to earn it through just training people right there's no way to earn it by just talking to people about our business it's through recruiting it's having those people come on board and protect families but guys let me just share with you a really quick income earning example and there's three different personal sales examples. One is an average new person selling five. One is a slightly above average new person who, who protects seven families per week. And one is a, <clears throat> a solid uh, top performing new person doing 10 plus per week. If we're talking about experienced agents, average should be, we should bump it up a little at seven and above average at 10, okay? Guys, in year one, protecting five families per week, it's $70,000. Selling seven per week, guys, it's a $30,000 difference. It's a couple bucks shy of 100 grand. Seven families per week, $100,000 income. <clears throat> 10 per week is a little bit over 140,000. Guys, move that out five years. So you're adding, so you're in your fifth year, you're on a 50 or 54 or even 58% contract by that time. You're on 58 if you're actually building your agency. Um, and that right there makes your five sales per week not worth not just 70,000, but over 100,000 just by your, your first year percentage going up. But how about this 16,448 guys? That's the renewals that they're coming in at one and two and 3% <clears throat> uh, for the sales that you made in your first four years. That's residual income at work. That's 118,000, okay? Impressive, right? Well, guys, it works the same way at seven. It goes up from 99,000 to 142,000 first year plus another 23,000 of renewal, so 165. And it's over $214,000 if you have a sell 10, 10 per week and you do that for five straight years. So we're talking about 250 weeks in a row of Eagles. Okay. That's kind of a daunting task, isn't it? Anybody here sold 250 Eagles? 
Okay. Some of us are still working on our first Eagle guys. So the idea of doing 250 over five years is probably pretty daunting, but guys, let me share with you something that's a lot easier and that's building an agency. That's having one team member in year one <clears throat> and then adding two per year after that. So one every six months. And guys, if you're having recruiting conversations and you're doing what I'm going to teach you on here in a moment, which is edification and making it a team effort, not a one man job, you will definitely do this. Guys, you're, you're having one team member in your first year, that's gonna be on about a five or 10% override. You're gonna earn eight, eight, $8,800, about $9,000, okay? Don't retire just yet. But guys, if you go out and you're year, year two, you have three people. By year three, you have five people. By year four, you have seven people. By year five, you have nine people, okay? Guys, in your, in your fifth year, you're earning more in first year income, 219,000, than you earn by selling 10 policies all by yourself, personal, for five weeks, five years in a row, your first year and renewals combined, which adds up to 214, you're earning more in just first year income. How about the renewals? It's 36,000 plus dollars, guys, in renewals from the sales that nine other people have made over the previous four years. Nothing to do with your personal production. Oh, by the way, guys, if you have a team of nine people, what are you probably still doing on a pretty regular basis? Selling. Selling, right? You're probably still selling and you're probably, if not the best, one of the top two or three best salespeople on your team, okay? We're always looking for people that are better, <clears throat> but usually the leader is the best person on the team. So guys, you're probably still at least selling five per week. You're probably selling an eight per week, 10 per week, but giving a few away, say you're still keeping five. That means that you're still in year five earning over $118,000 of personal plus that 256 we were talking about. That's somewhere in the 370 range. Guys, are you starting to understand that this is a real business? Wow. Woo! Yeah, it's guys, it's real. But guys, the real, and don't get me wrong, 100, 150, 200,000, that's real money. OK, guys, you want to change the trajectory of your kids and grandkids life financially. Start building an agency. It works and you do that, guys, one person at a time, one day at a time, one demo at a time where you choose consciously to speak to that person about the opportunity and not skip over it just because that person's not that impressive. You don't know who that person's cousin is. You don't know who that person goes to church with who just got up in the pulpit that Sunday and shared that they, they, they're looking for something new. They just got laid off. <clears throat> you never know who that person in front of you knows. So guys, I wanna share with you real quickly, there's two parts to effectively getting someone to watch the Career Spotlight video, okay? The first one, guys, is to share your recruiting story, okay? So I want to share with you guys real quickly. This is um, Kyle Schneider. This is Kyle's recruiting story. Kyle took the time, probably 35 minutes to an hour, and sat down one evening and created his recruiting story. How did he do that? He went on the Protect One Family website. And guys, write this down, please. ProtectOneFamily.com forward slash recruiting story. Okay, <clears throat> it, may, it may ask you to log in. We all have our login information. If you don't know what it is, reach out to Nicole and she'll respond with it. But I'm pretty sure it's your work email and then your login is your is um, FHL and your five digit agent number. Can anybody confirm or unconfirm that? Okay, so that is, I believe, how you do log in. Leaders, it would be good to get some participation. Um, so guys, in recruiting your, uh, creating your recruiting story, it's real simple. You go in here and you just fill in your name, you fill in your email address, and then you answer the questions. Who you are and what you used to do. And write it in the first person. I, before I came here, I was a DJ at WRDU. I was um, waiting tables. OK, at the diner, I was a school teacher for Wake County Public Schools. Whatever your situation is, write it in the first person. Why you were looking. 
hey, it was a good job, steady paycheck, but dot, dot, dot. It didn't have this. It was missing that. <clears throat> How you found family heritage. I answered an ad on Indeed. I actually had a person walk into my business and tell me about this. Somebody from church mentioned this to me. What impressed me the most was, and these people were having a lot of fun, doing a great thing, protecting families. And man, in the process, they're making a truckload of money and really helping out their own families. That was pretty impressive to me. And they've got this thing called residual income. I'd never heard of that before. Okay, so far what it's doing for me so far, man, my, I've been able to take my family on three different vacations that were paid for by the company. Man, we've been able to have my life back. If I'm, if I'm Jason Miller, I'm talking about how, hey, I, I'm, I'm going to all my kids' practices now and showing up to all the games. I'm not missing any of them because I've got to do another shift at the factory. Okay, guys, people hear that and it resonates with them. They're going, I miss games. I'm missing time with my family. I'm not making what I'm, I'm worth. And the best part is this. <clears throat> and whatever your best part is, I haven't even scratched the surface. I'm actually getting ready to attend our, 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 our leadership academy. Um, and then there's an invitation to watch our video. Now, guys, so that's what I just pulled up over here a second ago. That's I, I pulled up Kyle's recruiting story. And I won't take the time to read the whole thing because it would take a couple minutes. But, guys, I want to encourage you. <clears throat> actually, I tell you what, Kyle, do you have a second? currently driving well i don't want you to wreck your car so guys i'll, I'll just share this real quickly um and i'm i, I am going to read it to you because it'll take three or four minutes but i want you to understand it takes a few minutes to do this this isn't something that just is the three minute deal you're going to get out of it what you put into it just like you do your job each day so, so i grew up in a small town of, uh, north of Asheville, north carolina with eight older siblings i've always been very competitive with my peers and siblings and i grew up playing sports and snowboarding whenever i could I currently live in a new house I recently bought in Charlotte with my with uh, my fiance and our three dogs. I've been here at Family Heritage for over six years. I started less than a year after I graduated from Appalachian State University. I graduated with a major in uh, business management. I'm currently an agency owner with Globe Life Family Heritage Division. I believe Kyle wrote this about two, two and a half years ago, right after becoming an agency owner. Um, while you were looking, I had only one career before this, and it was more of a summer internship than a career, but it was selling books door to door for 85 hours a week. That wasn't something I wanted to do long term, even though it taught me an enormous amount of success principles and skills that I'll be using for the rest of my life. I wanted to find a career, one that had a very high potential for growth and one that it would determine my own success. I was actually looking for a sales career, specifically one that I could see myself working for a long time and one that I could build a sales team in the future with as well. I found Family Heritage through a guy named Van Davenport. <clears throat> I was about a week away from being a real estate agent. My previous employer told me that I should meet Van and hear what Family Heritage was about. He said he knew of several people doing well here and that the residual income was something I may want to check into. I went to Van's office one morning after two hours, I was 100% signed up and was starting the licensing process. I made the decision that day to be part of the team. What um, I honestly love the idea of making a great income while protecting families from cancer and other illnesses. Once I saw the product, I knew I could make a difference right away. I've had several family members go through cancer and I knew I could be passionate about what we sell. Once I understood the way you got paid, I had an immediate first year goal to make over $100,000. <clears> I also enjoyed the culture of family heritage and everyone seemed so genuine and kind. When I met the team, you, could, you, you couldn't tell the difference from a high level managers uh, down and everyone treated each other as equal. So far, it's allowed me to do things I never planned on doing at this stage. The freedom and flexibility this career has given me is unimaginable. I've traveled and went so many vacations that my friends think I travel for a living and get paid for it. <laughs> I paid off all my college loans in my first year at Family Heritage. <clears throat> and I have a residual income that I built, which is more than my mom ever made in a year as a teacher for 30 years. I have a great lifestyle and it feels so worth it as I definitely paid, paid the price to get what I have. I have also learned more about myself in general, such as my strengths and weaknesses and what I can do, do to improve on. Every year I have new goals for myself and with this career, I have every opportunity to obtain them. And the best part is I get to go to work with an awesome team and I've grown every year I've been here in all ways. I see an extremely long-term career here where all my personal, financial, physical, and family goals can be obtained. I get to make a phenomenal income <clears throat> while I can still spend time 
doing the things I like to do, like play basketball, soccer, snowboarding, hiking, and seeing my brother out west in Colorado. On top of that, I protected over 2,000 families financially myself from cancer, heart disease, accidents, and other illnesses that may strike their family. I have a peace of mind knowing what I do on a daily basis makes a huge difference for the community. And um, I think that this may be the career path. Um, if you think that this career path may be suited for you, definitely watch the career spotlight, okay? And find out the applicate and, and fill out the application questionnaire. From there, you'll enter the interview process and we'll figure out if we're a good fit for you or not. And if you're a good fit for us. Good luck with everything and I hope you can join our team soon as we're growing. <clears throat> so guys, you may be hearing that going, gosh, that's a lot to memorize. But you know something, guys, that's not hard for Kyle because that's his authentic recruiting story. It's not somebody else's story, it's his. All it is is putting those ideas, getting them out of his brain and dumping them onto paper and then practicing it. That's all it is. So guys, and the, the career is written just like this. And when you finish it and you hit submit down here at the bottom, an email will actually, it'll, it'll be generated in that form and it'll be emailed out to you. And then you can print it up and practice it. But guys, that's step one, okay? Step two to your recruiting story, guys, is either A, you get really good at that last part that Kyle did, which is inviting people to come okay and locking them down to a specific time that they're going to watch that video or if you're finding out that the last uh, 10 people that you've invited have not watched the video or didn't get back to you or didn't fill out the questionnaire then we need to shift gears because guys what's the definition of insanity it's doing the same thing over and over and, and expecting different results if you keep doing the same wrong thing you're eventually going to think that recruiting doesn't work well, it does work. It just may not work the way that you're currently doing it. So guys, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about edification. So that's part one, okay? Part two, in big letters, I hope you'll write on your sheet, edification. And guys, remember, recruiting is not a one-man gig. <clears throat> recruiting is a team sport, okay? So once you've told your simple, authentic story, the next step is absolutely vital, okay? You wanna bring in a third party expert into the conversation to play team and facilitate the candidates viewing the, the uh, career spotlight video. <clears throat> and guys, here are the words, write this down, FMFH, FMFH. The FMSH stands for facts, money, fun, and help. This is gonna be the easiest thing that you memorize all year, okay? And guys, this doesn't have to get be a conversation that happens with me and the candidate. It doesn't have to be with Kyle and the candidate. It could be with your trainer and the candidate. It could be with another, it could be with another, another rookie and the candidate, just as long, it needs to be another person. That is the key part that is another person because an edifying means to speak well of somebody else. When you do that, you can say things about uh, you can say things about that other person that they can't say about themselves because it comes across as bragging. So I want to get you on the phone with my agency owner, Kyle Schneider. He's one of the top leaders in our company. He knows all the facts about this business. He knows how the big money is being made. He's a lot of fun to work with and he loves helping people. Facts, money, fun, help. If I can get a couple seconds of his time so he can share some uh, extra insights with you, I think it'd be a big bonus for both of us. Okay. <clears throat> and guys, if you're able to, while you're thinking, text a little emoji of a, of a rocket ship or just, hey, just text the word recruit to Kyle or me or whoever you're going to do it. Then when you call, we know that you're calling with a recruit and we may be doing something where, hey, it might be important, but if it's not urgent, we can stop what we're doing and, and, and help, okay? That, that's a key little component to it right there. So ideally you wanna get them on the phone on the spot. Now, if you're in a business and having that phone call is not just not possible in that situation, it's awkward, could get someone in trouble, then just schedule a specific time at the end of their shift or at the end of their day to make that call, okay? Just schedule a time. Hey, if you're gonna be driving home at the end of the day, why don't we connect? and I can introduce you to Kyle then. Guys, it's really simple, but I wanna share with you guys a real quick um, 
video for the gentleman that taught me this whole concept and will do a much better job of it than I did. So please take some good notes. Uh, and I want to share with you, Mr. Brian Carruthers. One of the common questions I get all the time is, have hey, you ever seen a wealthy person or a wealthy family or a jet sorry, owner? Like, you got three jet, seconds. Sorry, you know, have you ever done? One of the common questions I get all the time is, what can I do to effectively increase my recruiting ratios? And number two, how can I get better at motivating my team to be more productive? Would you guys want to know that answer? Uh, I'm going to share it with you right now. It's called edification. Edification is absolutely crucial in your network marketing business. Let me explain what edification is. It's speaking well of someone else, building up another person, giving them credibility. Why is that important for your business? I'll tell you why. You've got prospects that you want to influence to make a decision to come on board, right? Well, if you want to influence them, just recognize the fact that you might not have that influence yourself. It's hard to give yourself credibility. It's hard to get people to take you that seriously. But what you can do is if you've got a third party person that you can speak really well of and edify them, give them credibility. So that way, when you do a three way call and have your prospect listen to your third party edified expert, that expert will now have the credibility that you can have to influence your prospect to sign up. Let me give you an example. If I'm trying to recruit Bob, okay, and let's say Melissa is my upline, I can talk to Bob all day long, but I don't have credibility with Bob. Okay, I can't say, look at me, I'm tell let me tell you how great I am, all the things I do, all the things I've done. Oh my gosh, look at me, listen to me, I can I, I do what I say. Bob's gonna say, bye bye. But if I edify Melissa and make Melissa seem like she walks on water, seem like she glows in the dark. I mean Think we lost audio, Van? Like you're no. arrogant, it sounds like you're bragging. But if you edify someone else, which is very easy to do, and if and it's received very well, then guess what? Bob is now going to take what Melissa says to heart. And Melissa will then be able to share her story of success. She'll be able to share uh, ideas and insights. She'll be able to answer Bob's questions, and she will be able to ask the closing question. So Bob, I know you're excited about this. Are you ready to get started with us right now? And he will have so much respect for Melissa that he will probably say yes to her when he would not have said yes to me. So edification is crucial. Here's how you edify. There's four components. Money, you say, Melissa knows how the big money's being made in this business, okay? Facts, she knows all the facts about this business. Fun, she loves to have fun and she's a lot of fun to work with and also help. She loves to help other people. So here's the way it would go. Um, let's say, let's say it's Melissa Giancola and Bob is my prospect. I say, Bob, Hey, look, I'm so glad that you're really, uh, you know, uh, exploring how great this business can be for you, but I want to get you on the phone with Miss Giancola, Melissa Giancola. She's one of the top leaders in our company. She knows all the facts about the business. She knows how the big money's being made. She's a lot of fun to work with and she loves helping other people. If I can get a couple minutes of her time so she can share some extra insights with you, this would be a, a big bonus for both of us. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get her. Click, get her on the phone, say, hey, look, I got Bob on the line. He checked out the whole presentation, likes what he hears, wants to hear your insights. Connect him up on a three-way call. Basically introduce, hey, Bob, this is Ms. Giancola. Ms. Giancola, this is Bob. Sit back and relax and let the three-way call happen. <laughs> By using edification, you are going to close so many more people than if you're just trying to use first party, your own mouth, talking to your prospects yourself. Edific edify, 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 edify. Here's what also ha helps. If you edify your upline um, expert, whoever your upline leader is, edify your leader to your team. And here's what happens. When you're trying to motivate your team, you're trying to get them to go out to an event. You're trying to get them to go out there and start prospecting people. They're not hearing you. You might be their friend. You might be somebody that they don't see as somebody that they should listen to because you're fairly new yourself. So if you're making 500 bucks a month 
and they're looking at you going, hey, look, you're not making much money in this business yet, so why should I listen to you? But if you edify somebody in your upline and that upline person gets on the phone with them, because the edifications happened, now the upline expert has influence with your team members. Now your upline expert can get them to commit to going to an event when you could not get them there. Your upline can get them to be motivated to go out and talk to prospects when you couldn't. So you edify your upline to close your prospects. You edify your upline to motivate your team. Edification solves all problems. So if you really just get focused on edifying, edifying, don't want the spotlight for yourself. Stop wanting all the spotlight yourself. Stop wanting everybody to edify you. If you edify others and then let them have the influence that they can use to help you build your business, soon enough, you'll be making a ton of money. Soon enough, your team will be exploding. And soon enough, your team members are going to be edifying you and you become the edified upline leader to close their prospects and to motivate their team. So you edify to close your prospects and motivate your team. And soon enough, your team will be edifying you to do the same thing for them. And if you do that edification process to the upline and then your team does it for you and then like leapfrogs, edification, 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 and then all of a sudden your team is all built around edification. So much respect, so much influence, and all of a sudden your team takes on a whole new life. That's the importance of edification. So I hope these six minutes gave you guys some really incredible insight that you will take to heart and you will start practicing edification every single day with every person that you're talking to, your prospects and your team members. Have a great day, and we'll see everybody over the top. Guys, real quickly, <clears throat> what did you hear? A couple comments. Hit the, hit the unmute button. Let's hear a couple comments real quick. Edification. Uh, edification. Uh, good. Are we still on? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Cool. One person go. With edification, if you uh, build up someone else and let them be the prospect story and don't worry about yourself, you don't have to boost yourself. You're boosting somebody else and then they're going to show why, for example, why Van has worked in this business for over a decade, why Kyle has worked for this business almost a decade, while Brad has worked for this business over six years. Um, and that really can sit down and make them actually think, wow, I can do this in six years. Yeah. Absolutely. Guys, for any of you that have actually done this before, and there's about a, about 30% of you on here have, <clears throat> what you'll hear is that when you get on after the introduction is made, and we have a little bit of small talk. How you doing? You from there originally? Great, great, great. It is, hey, well, I know that Jeremiah is a very, very um, a modest person, so he would never brag on himself. So I kind of have to do that for him. So let me tell you about what Jeremiah has done here. He's come in here. He earned our, in our first, uh, he took, didn't even take the full four weeks, but he earned our quick start bonus, which is selling over 10,000 in premium uh, in your first, uh, within your first four weeks. He did it in three. Uh, it's a thousand hour cash bonus on top of the more than 3000 of commissions he earned during that too, not to mention the, the 10 to 20 families that he protected. He's already gone out and shared our, our, our vision with um, more than 30 people. He actually already qualified and attended our Leadership 101 training that took place in Dallas. He was flown out there with a group of his peers and trained on the basics of our business. And he has just got a heart of a servant leader. Uh, just someone I'm excited to build with for the next couple of decades and uh, is absolutely slaying it. So you are uh, you're actually being introduced to me by one of the best up and comers in our business. So, you know, Mike, you should consider yourself very lucky. And guys, the posturing, uh, it just it's 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 um, it's incredible how people hear that. And the prospect is going, man, these are some amazing people. And wow, they sure speak highly of themselves, man. They don't dump on each other the way that people do on me at my work. And people want to be around that kind of stuff. It attracts the right kind of people. And then there's a little bit of conversation. It sounds like you want to hear a little more about what we do. Five minutes of that. And then it, we just wrap it up with, hey, Mike, it sounds like you, I mean, I could be wrong, but it sounds like you'd like to gather some more information about this. Is that, is that a, true, a true statement? 
Yeah, yeah, I love Gab. Guys, that's a safe statement. People always want to gather information, right? You're never going to hear me. Hey, Mike, it sounds like you're interested, right? I'm, I'm not going to say that because then they're going to start backpedaling and going, well, I haven't seen enough yet and I don't know. Um, so want some more information? Great. Well, the best way to get you that information is a little video that we created called the Career Spotlight. It's about 45 minutes long. OK, so it's uh, it's not two minutes, but it's also not a feature film link that's somewhere in the middle. But you can you know, bring some popcorn. If I were to send that over to you, is that something that you would take the time to watch? Yes. Great. Um, now, I need to block off a three hour window where you can watch it. Now, are you normally a, a um, kind of will do it as soon as you get home tonight at six o'clock so I can put you down between five and eight? Or are you kind of more of a night owl? You got to get the kids in bed first and you'll watch it between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Uh, probably a little later. Yeah, we got to get the kids in bed. Okay, so if I block off from eight to eleven for you to watch it, you can definitely watch it in that in that window. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, great, uh, Mike. The reason I ask that is because I don't tell people what to do. We're in a volunteer army. Um, we just ask people what they're going to do and then just pay attention and see if they follow through. And follow through and doing what people say they'll do is very, very, very important to us. We do it, and we expect that from our partners too. Does that make sense? Awesome. Can't wait to hear back from you when you get done watching the video at the bottom. There's going to be a little button to fill out a questionnaire and uh, and we'll just we'll take it from there. OK, awesome. Great to meet you. Have a great day. And Jeremiah, hey, thanks for introducing me and Mike. You're doing a great job out there. Boom, guys, that's a, that's it. It's really simple. But guys, edification takes practice. Creating your recruiting story takes a little bit of effort and then rehearsing it. But guys, I promise you, if you know your recruiting story as well as you know your cancer care introduction, um, it will make you. 10x what that will over the course of time and then guys just practice the edification there's just three four parts to it money facts fun and help that's it he's one of the top leaders in our business he knows how the big money's being made he knows all the facts about our business to answer your questions and he's a ton of fun to work with and he loves helping people become successful let me see if I can get them on the phone for five minutes. Guys, make edification part of your day, and you're going to see your teams start to really take off and explode. Guys, thanks for being on today. We've been so very blessed. Let's go be a blessing for somebody else today and not just bless them with our products, but let's bless them with the best opportunity in America. Go get them, guys. Thanks for all you do.